Last time on the Extreme One Chunk Iron Man, we finished all the fishing goals and rolled a lot of new chunks, until eventually unlocking the Chunk of Doom. Puro Puro, with a crazy list of goals to work on. So grab a snack, subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't want to miss content, and enjoy the episode. Starting off with 25 Hunter, this is day one of the Puro Puro grind. I'm going to have to spend a lot of freaking time in this place, man. This is gonna be interesting. Alright, I got my first Hespori seed from farming. I think they are really rare from these patches. There it is in the collection log, Hespori seed. I hope I can stack a few from the 82 farming grind because eventually I will get the farming guild and I will need to get the uh, compost bucket. So it would be nice if we can stack a few, but I, I honestly don't think we're going to get a lot. Maybe, maybe 5 to 10, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's really nice. That's a collection lock slot too. Wow, we finally got the chef's delight. That is the only drop I was looking for from the gourmet implings. I need the chef's delight to boost my cooking for the summer pie requirement. I need 95 cooking in this chunk to bake a summer pie. But I can plus 5 boost with this drink. Uh, so I only need 90 in this chunk. Which isn't going to take that long. Uh, but yeah, this will definitely help a lot. And I went... Over 8 times dry for this thing. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Just got 26 farming. I can now plant all my limpert seeds. Which should give a good bit of XP. 136 seeds. That's going to boost my uh, farm runs quite a bit. And there we go. 42 hunter. That's a huge level. Because I can now catch essence implings. I don't really need anything from them. I mean, I will be catching them if I see them, but I don't need anything specific um, from them. So they aren't too important. But I am able to upgrade my uh, butterfly net. Ooh, nice. That's also a Lumbridge medium task. All right, cool. All right, let's see. Magic butterfly net. There we go. That is a decent upgrade. I think that increases my catch rate by like 8% or 10% or something like that. Uh, that's going to help a lot. I have to catch a lot of imps. Around 150,000, I think. Maybe close to 200,000. So yeah, that's going to help a lot. I need 90 cooking in this chunk. And unlike me, you should not eat and cook the same thing every day. That's why I partnered with HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime by delivering fresh pre-proportioned ingredients right to your door. Along with easy to follow recipe cards. I like HelloFresh because it prevents meal planning and adds variety to your dinner rotation. You will definitely find new flavors or meals to cook using HelloFresh with over 45 recipes to choose from every week. There's something out there for everybody. With the new year starting soon, it's a great time to start eating healthy and HelloFresh can help you with that. Maybe you're planning to start your fitness journey or order less takeout. HelloFresh can really help you with your lifestyle goals. You know exactly how many nutritions and calories you are getting and it's considerably cheaper and healthier compared to takeout. HelloFresh is more than delicious dinners. In fact, HelloFresh takes the hassle out of every mealtime occasion with easy breakfast, quick lunches and snacks delivered to your door. Click the link in the description or use my code to get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode. Level 30. That unlocks willow trees, but unfortunately we don't have any tree patches. The only patches we have are these two allotment patches, a herb patch and a flower patch. And we have to get level 82, so that's a lot of farming in these patches. We will get there. 50 hunter, that is a huge level because that unlocks eclectic implings. And that is the most important impling for my hunter grind. I need 99 construction the moment I get a saw somewhere. And eclectic imps give a crazy amount of oak planks. And on my way to 89 hunter, I will get a lot of them. Another nice item I can get is gold bars. Because crafting is a pretty hard skill to train. And if I get a furnace in the future, I can get a lot of crafting XP out of the gold bars. And lastly, watermelon seeds are really helpful because I need 82 farming and the watermelon seeds will give me a lot of XP. Besides from those three items, there are some other decent supplies I can stack. A couple things I can high alk, uh, eddy ores are pretty good. So yeah, eclectic imps are definitely the best impling for me to catch on my way to 89. Oh yes, look at that. Three watermelon seeds from one eclectic imp. That is 
basically seeds for one patch and i am pretty confident i can get six watermelon seeds per hour if i do eclectic imps once i have a bit higher level which means i can sustain my watermelon seeds uh in the future so that will be really good the first gold bars and oak planks i'm going to build a nice stack a 10 adamant ore stack that's a pretty nice drop it is really rare but that will add up over time I just got red spiky fan braces, which is an upgrade for our strength because it gives like two strength bonus. Pretty good. All right, I finished my first trip of Eclectics. And as you can see, my inventory, quite a few interesting items. Nine watermelon seeds, that's really good. There we go, level 40 farming. Level 25 construction that unlocks the house portal in Hosidius. Once I roll the chunk, that's going to be really helpful. And that is construction done for now. I will be lamping agility next because I need uh, 70 agility in this chunk. I'm going to need all the help I can get with lamps. Level 55 hunter. I can now catch snow grax. I really wish I could catch those. I am freaking struggling with pure, pure hunter. There we go. 40 for farming. I can now grow irid leaves. Very nice. I have a lot of seeds. And with 44 farming, I can plus 3 boost and plant watermelon seeds for the first time. So that should boost my XP per hour a lot. We have over 1700 seeds. A lot of them are from hill giants and I got some from Eclectic Imps as well. Should be a big bulk of XP if we plant all of those. There we go. There's level 45 farming already. I can now use the low tier farming guild. A nice thing about the watermelons is I can make... Uh, super compost all day with the watermelons which should give me like 100 xp per batch of super compost and i can super compost every crop so what i'm going to do is i will use a regular compost first and then super compost for the extra xp and that should help a little bit there's level 58 hunter that is a new impling unlocked nature implings and they have some useful drops actually I'd say the most important drops are all the seed drops, mostly the limpert seeds and all the herb seeds. And nature herbs give torstals, which I can give to Dr. Jekyll for stamina potions. It's probably pretty far into the future, but that would be my way to get a stamina potion for the inferno. I can also buy a jar generator. I completely forgot about that. I want to buy one and see how good it is, but I don't think it's that useful for me since I am leaving a lot for farm runs and I can just trade in other implings for jars, which probably takes less time overall. Yeah, it's nice to be able to buy them. I'll do some testing with it. I finally got the Torstall. That took actually a really long time, like two hours of uh, nature impling hunting. I don't need a lot, so it's all good. I can just carry them around when I do like AFK content and wait for the Dr. Jekyll random. I'm not in a rush for a stamina potion, so it's all good. But there we go, level 50 farming. I can now plant Aventos. I have over 100 seeds and I can get them from Nature Imps as well, so that should boost my XP a little bit. This farming goal actually takes a lot longer than expected. I'm getting around 1500 to 2000 XP per full farming run which takes like one and a half hours because that's the amount of time i have to wait for my crops so yeah this this will actually take a few months um i really hate hunter but luckily i'm time gated behind farming so that that makes up for it a little bit took a little break from hunter and farming there's level 62 ranged the goal is level 70 a perfect goal to work on while editing and there's the big 60 we're starting to make some nice progress I have done the Kingdom Divided quest on my alt and I can now use Dark Lure. So I'm using that uh, on the Eclectic Imps once in a while and it makes the grind a lot nicer. I was previously hopping when the Impling flies away if I don't catch it. But now I can just focus on, on the other Imps while I wait and yeah I don't have to hop and it's actually pretty decent XP per hour now. It's gonna be hard to beat. 17, 52 farming, no green sectors, no farming cave, no ultra compost. All I use was super compost holy shit wonder what the chance of that is i got another book of knowledge that should get me a level 35 agility barbarian agility course ah yes missed the level but i just got 58 farming which means i can boost for snape grass so i'm gonna try and plant some all right i'm gonna do my first snape grass run i don't want to use all my seeds yet but i want to do a couple runs and see uh, how much xp i can get Wow, I got 46 snape grass from two patches. That's pretty great. That's a lot of XP. That's almost 4,000 XP from 
two snake grass patches. I think that's really lucky, but I am really excited to plant these at some point. I want to wait a little bit longer until I have higher farming level. So I can hopefully get more XP out of it. But man, these hill giant seeds coming in clutch. There's level 60 farming. Clean level. The farming content continues. Finally decided to finish off the Hosidis favor. One of the goals is 100% and do one of the architectural alliance quest uh, progress steps. Yeah, decided to finish it off. Talk to Hosa and that is all I have to do. I get a little bit of progress towards the quest. Very nice. Wow, someone by the name of Savage Productions Cars commented. Go get you a purple die from the Hosidius Church upper level. Purple Cape Season. I didn't even realize that was there. Uh, for some reason, I guess I didn't know it was in my chunk. Uh... I just never checked it for some reason, but that is amazing. Uh, <laughs> finally, a cape that looks really cool. And it actually gives crafting XP too, so... Really interesting. Um, thank you. That's amazing. Actually, something I've missed. And a YouTube comment helped me with it, so... I love you, dude. Thank you. This is gonna be the, the new cape. Making some really good farming progress lately. Non-stop farm runs all day. There's level 64. I can now grow potato cacti. Good progress. All right, 65 farming. That means I can unlock the mid-tier farming guild and grow Hespori. And I have not gotten a second Hespori seed from all these levels. I've only had one so far. So yeah, it's pretty rare to get uh, Hespori seeds from uh, allotment and ear patches. I'm probably only going to get like 5 or something. There's level 65 hunter. Big level that unlocks magpie imps. And these implings are an absolute gold mine. They have a pretty crazy drop table. A lot of useful drops. A lot of high alks. And there's 3 drops in particular that I find interesting. Ring of forging. Which might be really handy for a smithing in the future when I use uh, iron. Black dragon height, which means I have to make black D height and train more crafting. And snapdragon seeds are really nice for me. Besides from that, it's mostly just high alks. A couple new best and slot items for magic. A rune warhammer requires a strength level. Yeah, yeah, overall a pretty crazy drop table to be honest. Doing some magpie hunting. There's the first ring of forging drop. Very nice. And there we go. Mystic boots. That is the best in slot magic boots in my chunks. And a best in slot item requirement. I was looking at all of my cooking options in my chunk. And I did a bit of experimenting making rations. And it's actually okay XP. I'm getting 90k cooking XP per hour. I've got a bunch of food for my last chunk with the fishing grind. So I'm just using the low tier foods. Yeah, I can actually get a decent bit of cooking XP per hour. Ooh, a new collection lock slot. Sturdy beehive parts. I'm trying out a bit of forestry because I believe I can make the outfit uh, if I collect some feathers. So just working on forestry for fun. Get some nice collection lock slots. All right, there we go. That's the rune warhammer. Um, the chunk tasks are saying I need to get this. It's a requirement for the strength requirement. Not that hard of a requirement, but there we go. Hammer obtained. Did some forestry today. Collected some of the items. So let's make some of the gear. Uh, there's the cape. Boots and legs. There we go. Three collection lock slots. I need 15 more feathers. That looks kind of kind of cozy. All right. Got some more feathers. Make the last item. There we go. We made the hat. And that is all of the pheasant items created. Four new collection lock slots. I just got my first black dragon hide drop. Which means... I can make a full black dragon height set once I get 80 for crafting, which is a chunk requirement. So that's something I'm going to have to work on later. I have to do a lot of gem stalls for that. Not really want to do that yet. I want to work on the hunter and farming first, but that's something uh, for later. There's a huge level for you guys. These levels are going super fast, but that is 70 farming. This is not very good XP per hour, as you can imagine. We have around one third of all the XP I need for 82. So we're making some really good progress. I can't wait to see how many watermelons, snapegrass and herbs we farmed after this goal's done. 
Hit some really cool milestones, 6,000 gold bars and 5,000 oak planks from Eclectic Implings. As you can see in my inventory, I started using Snapegrass seeds again because of the current changes that are coming soon. I made a video talking about these changes and how it will influence the chunk account on my second channel. If you want some extra extreme one chunk content to watch, you probably want to watch that. I'll link it in the cards and in the description down below. The channel is called Also Verf. I also plan on posting some other chunk content like raw videos of trading methods and other videos that don't fit on the main channel. There is level 70 Hunter. Very nice level. I'm putting some good hours into Hunter again. I was slacking a little bit. And to be honest, this is probably in the top three hardest grinds I've ever done in the game. I guess to you guys, hill giants look really bad. But I just cannot stand Pure Pure, man. Like this place is a hell. If you don't pay attention for one or two seconds, your imp is just gone. And you're just standing there waiting for your imp links. And it's just... It's it's a struggle, it's a struggle, but we get there, we get there. I will not stop until I get 89 Hunter. And that's all the progress I got for you guys. My goal is to get to at least Dragon Implings next episode. And we should also make a bunch more farming progress. Let's try and get one like for each watermelon in the bank. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a great day.